All right, it's Chun Chun here, and for today's topic, we're gonna talk about study your market. So normally, it's how to study your market when you come to investing in real estate or property. Because when we come into investing in real estate, actually, the market is more important than the property. No matter you want to do project or renting your property, everything else. So. How to study it when you talk about market? Market is important, so you need to evaluating your market and your sub market, and then you need to know the market insights and out what's the key to knowing the project will be viable or not, and then the facts finding the opposite of relying on gut feeling. This part is very important. Maybe some of you will think about when you come into investing, you will know about use your gut feeling. Or instinct, that's good, but that's more important. You can have your market study, your analytics, the facts, everything in your brain, and then together you study it, and then come up with the instinct that's much more better than you just simply blindly and go and choose by your feeling. That so you need to study the market first. So when you come into investing in real estate, normally if you want to rent your property. You want to buy a property, then you want to rent it out, and then you can generate cash flow. So, ideally, the supply should be low, and then the demand should be high. Which means that that area actually, the demand of people want to rent is higher than the the property that supply that give people renting. So you need to choose the area to invest. So you can know everything is including the detailed data. Including the property name, size, address, and then the dates of construction, everything else you need to seek out of this, and then you can use your estate agent, real estate broker, and then you can use it, and then you can get information for the people who has more experience than you, so that the people who have much more better understanding the market than you, not just simply rely on yourself, but you can be leverage on the people surrounding. Real estate agent, real estate broker, who have experience, you can know knowledge, and then you can generate the knowledge from them. So, why must be you alone and go and face it? So the next thing is the high occupancy place. Actually, the demand is great. For example, is in Malaysia that KL is more population than than the area of Kedah and everything else. So the occupancy people will follow the occupancy. So. Occupancy is high, demand is great. It's very normal. Then occupancy is low, sure the demand is soft. That's you need to know. And then the next thing is because people parent move in incentive and special. There's some special thing that the area the people will move to is for example in the nice new beach or the seaside view. Or the casino, everything else will attract the people. Also, this is the most of data. We will talk much more deeper into it. And then the next thing you need to look at the future supply of that area. Also, you need to know that area in the future. Are there any development property that want to do the rental property development or not do anything else? So if they do the Rental development area in that in the huge amount of so the supply sure increase the demand sure will be low so you need to study the future development also. So when we go deep to supply and demand to study the supply and demand, actually there's the three driver that will drive to the supply and demand thing. The first is employment. No, just now we talk about it. Now we got go much more deeper into it. So. Supply and demand. Look at employment. Let's say that place is the got a lot of job opportunity. Sure, a lot of people will go there. And then when people go there, the people who looking for jobs and then they much more prefer to rent at the place. For example, in Malaysia is the KL area or Penang. That people go and sit out to the area or not just in state but in your state also. You need to look at. 
because different country, different state have different type of market, you need to study it. Yeah? So if your area, the area is the place that a lot of employment, so that surrounding area should be a lot of high demand when people want to rent the property. Even though in risk, retail business or restaurant also, if that at that area got employment opportunity, then the opportunity will bring the customer come also. So this affects actually this fact that population follow employment. Because people certainly go where the jobs are, but they also sometimes they also migrate also to the place that have a certain persona of living experience to build in the area. For example, if you think about you want to rent for the people who want to seek for job opportunity, so the place is actually will have demand for renting the property. So it's there's some case that the place is as uh clearly defined personal or population draw almost as powerful as employment also is the place which means that is the tourist place for example beside the beach and then got a seaside view if people like casino or everything else so this type will attract people also but there's different kinds of market because people go there is most likely to go for vacancy and then for tourists this target market will be much more different than the renting market so just look at which you much more prefer to go, go into it so you're gonna from this book you're gonna know it you can stay away from market and start market they are not drawing people so you're gonna move that area and then the next tips you can look at when you come into study the market you can talk to your city or town officer you can go and visit their website and then set up a meeting with them remember that don't be too shy to go and asking them question because if you as a taxpayer you are paying their salary so that you can go and ask them because you are their customer you can go and ask them to know much more detail and get realistic the population protection and then because when the rate of blue sky numbers ask them to elaborate the one on the factor that are seen are contributing to this optimistic growth scenario you need to know the population well the data rating they should have the data you need to talk with them so there's few simple points you can do and look at is that area is real indication for people and then the population will draw there's few point that actually can draw the population so the first is the new highway or new highway extension built at that area or not because when you your highway is built and then sure people will come to that area very easily so the population should will grow that's the first point you're gonna know then the next is gonna have the master plan community which means that at that area is any developer or development coming will build the large residential project which means that including combined home and work and then all the retail shopping mall all these are not then it's number two you can talk at number three is the new sport tennis stadium or arena not? because for like if the stadium can attract the people come here also and then look for fun or anything else even though got any s sky uh, event or anything else so that the stadium is also can attract more people next is the uni normal way is the university or university expansion then that area is nearly the university sure that a lot of students will go there and they need to rent their home and they rent for room everything else so the next is the is that area got any redevelopment area or not you couldn't have know that maybe the area is old area so that no people want to come there but after is another big giant developer they take on the old stuff and then they rebuild it to become a new way so it will sure attract more people to come even though shopping more to some retail everything else we need to look at it then the next is the casino also casino maybe is the legally casino for example in malaysia is gunting a uh, long time ago it's just in a high mountain just there 
on top of that area but after Genting coming and then uh, Lim Gao Tong built a Genting after that a lot of people population the job employment grow people will go to the Genting Highlands so their population grow also in the area so the cousin also will pull the people come the next is the military base when we talk about military base, base is same as is there any government office or not because when government office built around that area sure a lot of people especially uh, government servant they will go and seek for the home and then to rent property everything out in that surrounding area so you need to know then the next is the regional airport if that place is nearly airport so that a lot of tourists the people so we will we'll pull on this area is the rely on the airport also the next is the company relocation because for example if that area got any big company and then they relocate from other place to the new place so that area a lot job employment job opportunity growth people will come here also this is the case you mean have it then the next is the major event in your area that you study actually got any event and do on it or not for example the big event come and attract people any olympics game uh, aircraft flying everything else event your area got any event too then the area if had event to do it so the population will go and then the demand will increase so when you come into a population you need to go much people and then there's some few population driver you see her and read about them so you must be know that the place is resilient so you're gonna make sure that area the market grow is not reliant on one thing not just reliant on one company if one big giant company go there and then that surround area the population there is because of this giant company business the people around here work there so you're going to be careful of that situation because when that company move to another place sure that the people will go through also so this you need to look on on it then the next is the economic diversify and uh, diversity you need to have the place which means that the economy is diversity which means have a lot of good diverse economy which means has all the market including shopping mall booker job opportunity so they have some mix up so that that place is more futuristic to grow in the future you need to look at it so you're gonna have to look at the place which means i have pioneering in the future because you're gonna have it and then the place will grow because a lot of developer giant developer come here and they want to build that place pioneering then the next the last thing is you're gonna have if you want to no matter you if you want to build a project to sell to the place or you want to just buy a property and then rent to the people affordability is very important no matter you want to build a project to sell the project or sell the property or you want to rent it out because if that area their job income is just middle class but you want to sell the high-end product so we will not match the market so you need to have know that your market your area and then their salary their income is how much you're gonna match match it affordability so this thing you're gonna look at it so you don't know how to drive market everything else the next thing we're gonna look at is the location because no matter what you study with all gurus everything else they will talk about location 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 because location is thing that cannot be changed when you already purchase it so how to go and choose and then identify is there that is a great location or not actually the great location actually have drive by visibility when you want to buy a property or invest in that property so can i have buy buy can i have very visibility is people will easily look at you especially it's retail you want to re, uh, invest in commercial property so you're gonna have the place that people easily to look at you to find you 
So the next is great occasion possess a rare quality. For example, you want to invest in some kind is like a vacation home. So if in front of you got a waterfall view or the beautiful river view, this is a special location for you. So the next is great location are in demand. So the area actually is a lot of people want to go there and then sure is high demand. So you're gonna find a place. Maybe the place will a little bit more expensive, but when you look at investing in real estate for Robert Tikasi, he focused on generating the cash flow. If your place is a good place, great place, and it can generate your positive cash flow, so that you can be considered to grab the opportunity. So the next is normally great location are low in supply but high in demand. You're gonna look at it. So when you come into study the market, you need to focus on your market that you want to study. Because the first step in buying right is knowing your market better than everyone else. So no matter where you are, you want to start, you can start to know your market first, pick the market that you like, and then you can study well, you can know well, you can go deep on it and then study then after that you get invest that's much more better for you so after just now i talk about all the situation there all the knowledge then there's some few summary you can look at is the thing that the action that you can take is to select one market in your state preferably one close to home if you just started if you are new or you already expert you can go to any state or all it's depend on you that you may be interested in you study go deep you study it, then know your market because different state got different market to play on the next is you're going to list every sub market or spread neighborhood you're going to know well then you're going to define and describe the employment picture of the area got job opportunity job opportunity or not you're going to define describe the unique persona of the sub market you're going to determine supply and demand estimate you're going to Maybe you can form a team, you can ask your team, the real estate broker, lawyer, estate planner, uh, government server, anything else, you can form a team, generate the visa signal. After that, you're going to check your finding against the information in this chapter. And then you're going to rate the sub market based on the criteria. You're going to select your sub market, which one you want to invest. Always remember, never just buying a property just by feeling. Actually, you can buy instinct also, but you're going to form up with all the information and then you're going to know your market, you're going to study well. Always remember, market is more important than the property. So, hope this will help you. See you in the future. See you in the next time.